hi guys yeah, welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how you can model analyze and design a stadium using photo structure 2021 all right um this um is the side view of a stadium you can see we have um, a slant column and then we have um, a raking beam you can see the kind of roof we have you can see the um the roof truss okay so this is another side view showing the other side you can see properly now where you have your column where you have your raking beam and then you can see the roof um this is the back view this is the rear view where you can see the slant column very well you can also see the beam running across um the column connecting them together so this is the front view showing more of the of the roof and then this is the raking floor you can see how the floor is raking from the beginning up to the end okay so this is still the back view so let's see how we can do this in product structure all right so we proceed to um product structure and then we open a new project let's go on this and then you give it a name let's say stadium okay then you pick a design code template you have a lot of design code templates available here so i'll be picking the euro code of uk then okay all right as usual we will be starting with the um orthogonal axis generator under the modeling the orthogonal axis generator but before we generate that let's see how we can do that uh, let's see um the kind of axis we have and how we can um do that right so let's go to the side view so let's look at this so that we can determine the point where we have the grid lines okay so first of all let's look at the column over here you will see that the column here at the bottom of the column we should be expecting a grid line okay so there should be a grid line that will be at this portion also at this portion which is very essential you should be expecting a grid line okay also this point here there should be um, a grid line okay so parallel to this side too there should be um, a grid line and then parallel to the last portion here there should be um, a grid line okay so that is the grid line we'll be having in the x um, direction okay so i can say that from this point up to this point i can say that the horizontal distance is 1.5 meter okay then here the distance between here and here the horizontal distance i can say one meter then here and here i can say it is 0 0.5 meter okay then from this portion up to this portion let's say i have 5.1 meter okay and then the distance between here and here that can be um one meter all right okay so let's see the other side um the other side is equivalent so it is equidistance okay so i from here to here is about three meter okay and then don't worry you get it more when we when we start doing it right okay and then how many number of stories this is zero story this story zero this portion we have story one okay um and then this portion we have um story two okay and then this portion we have um story story three okay story three so um let's begin so i go to um the um, printer structure back then you go to orthogonal axis generator just click on it and then drop it somewhere around here okay so for the y direction i have um 3000 in 12 places 12 okay for the x direction i have um 1500 i have 1000 I have 500 I have 5100 and I have 1000 okay so click on okay all right so this is um exactly what we have the next thing will be to fill the number of stories okay so you go to building set out then you go to um, stories and then operations then you go to insert stories so i'll be having um three stories so click on okay yes this portion where we have the beam connected to the column that is one story this portion where you have the roof connecting to the column that is another story and then this portion where you have the top of the column that is another story okay so that is making three stories all together okay so the height of story one it is um 3.2 meter the height of story two that is um 
3 meter and then the height of story 3 that is 1.2 meters okay so um let's insert that so you can go to um the building setup still so you go to stories and then you come here come to edit stories so for story one that will be three thousand two hundred for um story two that will be two thousand one hundred that is in mm and for story um three that will be one thousand one hundred mm okay so for the description you can decide to leave something in the description for example you can say this is story one story two story three okay and then for the foundation level i will put that in two thousand um mm that should be the depth of the foundation for the first story bottom level i would like to leave that in is zero meter okay so um if that's done just click on okay i will go to story one so that i can begin whatsoever i want to start okay <clears throat> no let me go to story three let me go to story three and we can start with the columns i will start with this column all right but this picture is not showing the full detail so i'll just use this one which is the other side of the of the um, of the building okay but it is um the same thing it is identical so i will draw this slant column okay you can see this slant column is coming from the story three up to story zero so the um the top will be um flushing to the fourth axis while the bottom will be flushing to the first axis okay so um let's just do that so um you go to modeling and then you pick um the column so let's pick this column all right and then the dimension of column we have here is 500 by 250 i'll just use it like that so i'll place one here all right i'll place another one here um or instead you can just drag it like this okay so i can do it more faster understand just drag it over where they are needed okay so um i think that's all all right so um what i would do now is you can just right click and then you go to no let me show you in 3d before i do that go to um view and then you go to 3d physical member okay so you can see how the the columns are right you can see how they are they are so short when you draw a column it obviously it's on story three but when you draw a column it will be from story three down to story story two all right that is how a column will look like from story three down to story two but what i want to do is i want this column to start from story three up to story zero so that will be three stories all together you know three two and one okay so what you can just do is you right click and then you go to member table and then you go to um column table then you come to this one that you are seeing early end story so instead of one what you just insert three so that it can go up to three stories not one story so click on three okay and then you can close then you can now see that the columns are now long telling you that the column are running from story three up to the last story which is story zero okay all right so this is um looking good but we don't want it to be straight we want it to be slant so we can flick we can fix how it will slant now so you can go back to the 3d okay and then we start changing them one by one so you click on this column just double click all right then you can pick this so you say the the bottom has to flush to this point and then you click on update okay so you can close that go to the next column double click pick this and then you pick this point then you click on update then you can close that okay um go to the next one double click pick this bottom and then drop it here update okay close that and then the last one double click here here and then update okay so let's close that and let's see how it looks like in 3d okay all right so you can now see that it is now slanting okay so this is how it will look like 
so you just pick it from the third story and then make it come directly to the fourth story you don't need to be you know cutting it one by one just take it from the third story then increase the length to three so that i can run from story three down to story zero okay and then you can fix that so we are done with the column you can move to the um to the next step 